daddies. You won't believe what this week has in it. It has my birthday. Yes, it does. So I just thought I'd have like a little party, if you don't mind. Uh, my husband picked you up some cake. He didn't know if you wanted to have double food or vanilla. So he picked up a little cake. I know you'd like to have a slice. Um, it's also somebody else's birthday in the community. It is Lily's birthday. And happy birthday to her. And Mesh announced that this week we would be having traditional baby colors or vintage baby colors. So I sort of combined that birthday, vintage baby colors, as well as a garage sale one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> Um, I went to a, a garage sale today um, that was benefiting a, a elementary school. People had donated and you could buy things to um, help the elementary school. So um, I had a little fun there. And But before I continue on, I'm going to have to blow out this candle, okay? And I can't sing happy birthday to myself because that would just be silly. So not that this isn't. <laughs> oh, I love so much. Here we go. Here we go. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> okay, we have uh, Dani over here, and she's wearing an outfit, actually just the dress I had found at the yard sale. It is um, uh, a sheer fabric with little polka dots. It has some smocking at the top with little delicate pink roses and um, since it has blue here I thought it was good to pair it with the vintage style um, hat that I got from Debbie Kate over in the UK and I thought it worked really well and so much so that I went ahead and added oh it has a petticoat underneath isn't that sweet? I paired it with a little uh, blue knitted I mean crocheted um, booties and even though it, they're blue I figured they work because of the blue dress and the blue bonnet and um, this dress was also with this dress with the smocking at the top is just gorgeous it really is it's also vintage oh this one had a label in it uh, it was um, Neiman Marcus and this one I can't remember what the label in this one was but it was definitely very old and it has little tiny, tiny, tiny pink flowers and leaves that go around the edge at the end of the smocking. And I decided to dress Robin in this one. Um, and both these dresses were in the same bag, marked for $3. So, well, you know, you have to get them. And a um, little happy birthday balloon. And, oh yeah, the vintage... Um, uh, hat um, I got from a dolly show not from the yard sale so it's just the dresses I'm going to be talking about um, as well as we have over here we have uh, Dimitri um, wearing a very very gorgeous very unique um, petal um, sleeper I'll let you look at it a little bit I also paired it with because I wanted it sort of a party <laughs> atmosphere. I paired it, paired it with um, the fun little uh, tassel uh, bonnet that um, Debbie Kate made, made as well. So I'll let you look at that. I'm gonna move the cake because I'm gonna start slicing it up for you, okay? So I'm gonna set it aside. All right, All right back to Dimitri, here she is. Anyway, the petals, I just thought it was just gorgeous. I don't know what type of, of crochet that is or knitted. I don't know. Inside it had a label. It was made in Spain. I thought that was unique. It was made in Spain. And there she is looking so sweet in it. Yeah. Oh, she her forehead is like showing like big time. There we go. That looks better now. There she is. And I have over here Angelina. Oh, by the way, this outfit 
was in a separate bag than the two dresses. So I will tell you the price of this one in just a second. I move over to Angelina. Even though she's a girl, I dressed her in this vintage hat. The hat came with it, a little crisscross pattern, a little blue crisscross right in the center, a little blue, light blue, baby blue trim. And, and I put her in these little vintage shoes, with little uh, socks with little blue uh, hearts on them. And here's a little sweater. It's a little sweater with the bonnet hat. It's very sweet. Um, I don't know if it's for a boy or for a girl, but I figured it would work if I dressed her in that. And over here, we have the only boy invited to the party. Yeah, he's a very lucky guy. And I have him in the last outfit that was in a bag together with this one, this one, and this one were in the same bag, marked for three dollars. So. The hat did not come with it. I only paired it with that because I thought it looked really good with the overalls. Very sweet. Yeah, there he is. There's Eli. He's looking so cute. He's such a lucky guy to get invited to a party with, with girls. Yay. Yeah, there he is. Okay, um, one more thing I have to show you that I found today at the yard sale. Okay, are you ready? I'll have you look at Robin and Dimitri for just a second because Damien gets to hold what I found. Here we go. He's so cute she is. All right, can you see? I hope not. I want it to be a surprise. Here we go. I hope I get her name right because I, I hope I don't mispronounce it. But this is what I found. A cute little Asian doll. Uh, I believe her name is Kate, uh, Caitlin Yang. I believe that's how you say her name. And she's made by this company. I don't really know how to pronounce that. Um, but she was so sweet and I shampooed her hair, got her all cleaned up and she's as good as new. She did come with a little top, but she was missing her pants. So I went ahead and just paired it with a a little preemie pants I had and I also had one of the got one of these bottles um, months and months ago I just thought it was silly but I remembered as a child I love these and they would always break as soon as you drop them they have milk in them as you see but as you feed your baby guess what happens the baby drinks the milk all down and the bottles empty and you set it right up and it gets filled up again I just thought it was so silly Anyway, um, I just wanted to have a little birthday vintage uh, theme Thursday all mixed in one, even though I'm going to post this earlier. I just wanted to get everybody in on the yard sale, the vintage finds, the baby blue, the baby pink, all into one video. So thanks for stopping by.